there's no doubt that this, that what's especially what's happening right now in Egypt, is going to affect Gaza and the Palestinian territories in Israel. I mean, the, that's the that's the most volatile uh, area, I think, in terms of consequences. And and um, I think that the you know after we have these parliamentary elections in Egypt um, in July, I mean, it's coming up. July or June. Well, we'll see if uh, this happen. And then the presidential elections like six weeks later. The question of the back door of Gaza is going to be uh, a, a political issue. Egyptians are going to have to make up their own mind. There's not going to be a question of what America wants or what, you know, what our relationship is with Israel. There's going to be, should we open the door to, to Gaza? Now, it's a lot more complicated when you actually start thinking about doing that because um, the truth is Palestinians are treated very poorly in Egypt and have always been. The Egyptians talk a good game about what we would like to do about Palestine, but they do very little really to help them. Uh, the prospect of suddenly having a million people run out the door into Egypt um, at a, in a, you know, a country that is having staggering employment problems and already, um, it, it may give some pause to the voters who are going to have to then decide, you know, how do we want to treat this issue? And then they're going to also have to decide, what is our relationship with Israel? Are we going to go to war with them? Because if we're not going to go to war with them, then we have to have some kind of relationship with them. And uh, I think, you know, Israel is, I think, scaring itself to death right now. Uh, and it, 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 it's so frightened that the, you know, that the changes will uh, be much worse. But it's so much better if the Egyptian people actually go to the polls and on balance say, we don't like Israel. We don't like the way that the Palestinians are being treated, but we're going to have to live with it. Now, it could come out. I could be completely wrong. It could be that, you know, there'll be a much more militant upsurge uh, in, in Egypt about helping the Palestinians. But I cannot imagine that it would come to war. Well, one of the things that, one of the ways this intersects is that the Egypt, Egypt's role in enforcing the blockade of Gaza was a key part of the rising anger and discontent yeah. about it. And, and this was something which um, uh, Al Jazeera actually, before all of this began, played a really important role in, in highlighting. And mm -hmm. the, the Egyptians were furious that there was publicity being given to their role because you know they wanted it, it to just be all about how Israel was oppressing the Palestinians in Gaza. Mm -hmm. And in fact, Egypt played an extremely important role in enforcing that, and the publicity on that really hurt them. So I actually think I would separate the two issues. I would say that uh, the blockade of Gaza is very likely to mm -hmm. be lifted in some form. Uh, the war, I think, is a different question and much less likely. Mm -hmm.